All right, hi there. So I am going to attempt to get my domain um, authenticated through Flowdesk. So I wanted to walk through the process with you so you could kind of see what I'm going through and hopefully this will help you do the same. Um, I did look into this a little bit before I got started just so I could get an understanding of what it was gonna look like. So hopefully this will be a pretty quick and easy video. So I'm in the back of Flowdesk right here um, and I've also pulled out my GoDaddy tab over here. You'll see that in just a second. Um, but this looks like it's pinning, so let me just go back into this. Oh, it's not going to take me through the um, through the the help desk or the help thing anymore. Sorry about that. Um, so I am going to attempt to authenticate this domain. So my domain is so I use Squarespace, but my domain is hosted on GoDaddy. So when I was in my Squarespace site, in order to kind of figure out where I was at under settings, if you go to domains. And then my domain, you can see here, is managed by a third party. If your domain is managed through Squarespace, you would just do this right in Squarespace. But mine is managed through GoDaddy. So I actually clicked on this. I clicked on the DNS settings, and it tells you right here if you want to make a change to this, you need to log into your domain provider, which I did. Um, I logged into GoDaddy. This is my GoDaddy account, and you can see my domain is right here. And then this is how you can access the DNS settings. So once I have that pulled up, and Flowdesk does recommend that you have these in separate tabs, so it's easier to copy and paste. So I have my DNS settings right here, and um, what Flowdesk wants me to do is, oh my goodness, sorry about this, hold on. Okay, sorry about that, hopefully we got that all taken care of. Um, sorry, so I was a little confused as to what it was wanting me to do here. Um, but I looked up a little help video, and it looks like on GoDaddy, I need, GoDaddy, I need to just put add. And then we're going to, under the type, we're going to select CNAME. And then the host is going to be this right here. And then the value, this is where I was hung up because this says points to, but this says value. So I wasn't sure if those words matched. Um, but they do. I looked up a little help article, and they do. So I'm just going to copy this and put this here. And then I'm going to copy this, and put this here, save, and I'm going to add another one, C name. I'm going to copy this. You can see how having the two tabs um, is really helpful. Copy this, make sure that copied, paste, save. looks pretty crazy but hey whatever and then we're gonna add again oops nope C name copy paste copy paste okay so I think that looks good Okay, so we've done that. And I think that's pretty much all we need to do. I think now that that's been added, um, process requires you to copy and paste information from Flowdesk desk into your domain's provider site. We recommend that you work with two browser windows. Okay, so I think that's just gonna be pending. And then once the records actually all start talking to each other, um, I don't know if that's something I can force to happen or if it just needs to take a little bit of time. Might look up a little help article on that as well to see if there's anything else I need to do. Um, but this looks like I have started the domain authentication process, so hopefully I should be good to go. So hopefully you found that helpful, at least to see where you're supposed to do these things. Um, again, this should help with your deliverability um, by what it says here, by telling email clients that the emails you're sending are really from you. These are actually from my domain. So hope you found that helpful, and um, let me know if you have any comments down below. Thanks.